All right, so in this one, we're going to be backing up our Blender configuration. Uh, it's really not that hard. It's quite simple. I'm going to um, right-click, open a new window on the C drive real quick. So all your stuff's going to be hiding in uh, your user area, okay? Then your username. And normally you have a hidden folder in here. You got that. You have to go up here to view and hidden items, right? So you'll see you got this hidden app data folder. Click that, local, local, low, roaming, go to roaming. And now we're looking for Blender Foundation, Blender, see here, point two. Inside this, you have your configurations, you have your scripts, your add-ons, and other things like studio lights, mat caps, so anything you installed. So this is pretty useful. And this is what you back up, just 3.2. Uh, on my hard drive, I have tools, Blender, config files. See, I have an old version, 3.2 there. So I'll just delete it real quick. So this is, you just place this wherever you, know, you can store it. So external or flash drive or something. And I just copy it over. Okay. So I could actually reset Blender, save the preferences, not a big deal. I can always pull this back in. The way you would re-update it is just from your external or whatever, toss it back into your Blender folder over here. And uh, personally, I don't like seeing the hidden folders. I don't have a reason to see them. So I just usually turn that back off. But before I do, I make a shortcut to app data here. So I can just get back to it if needed. I don't know if that really matters, but in other places on when you're looking through files, I don't really care to pop up. So and then now it's all copied over. I don't know about y'all, but my blender when it loads up, it takes a little bit as it runs through the scripts and stuff, checks them off. I get just a nasty gray screen. It's just me or what's going on. But, um, regardless, the, um, it's all reconfigured now. So if we want to do some vanilla blender. We can do that just by file default reset. But we don't have to worry if we overwrite anything in that folder or any of our settings because we can just pull them back down, right? So that, that's all you got to do. It's pretty easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check you out in the next one. Right, take care.